Rods, thank you. Dr. Sahar Kamis is an assistant professor of communications at the University of Maryland. She is also Egyptian and has family in Cairo right now. She joined us earlier tonight to talk about what this means to her and Egyptians everywhere. Dr. Kamis, after all the events that have happened, as you watch Tahrir Square tonight, what are you feeling? Oh, it's an incredible feeling. It's difficult even to put it in words. I feel very proud to be an Egyptian more than ever before in my life. This is a great sense of achievement, of success, of victory, of pride and dignity. I know and that you have relatives that were in Tahrir Square yesterday. They are in Cairo. What have you talked to them about since all of this happened? Oh, we just congratulated each other. We said this is a great achievement. For 18 days, Egyptian people have been peacefully mm -hmm. and wonderfully, you know, asking for their civil rights, for the rights of democratic reform, representation, uh, getting rid of corruption, of dictatorship, of oppression. And now they made it. You know, we can do it. Well, there's the sense of, okay, we made it and we can do it. What's next, though? I mean, this is going to be a challenge challenging next phase as, 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 as Egypt begins this process. Absolutely. I mean, after all the euphoria and the celebration is over, I'm sure it's going to take a few more days, if not weeks, for all the celebration to be over because it's a great sense of achievement. But I'm sure after that, there has to be some kind of a peaceful transition to a democratic government. Right now, it's the army that's taking you know charge in the country. But the Egyptian army played a very uh, interesting and very respectable role. They did not side with the authority against the people. They protected the rights of the Egyptian people to demonstrate peacefully and to express the rights and I expect that they're gonna take care of the country and transition power in a very peaceful and civil manner. Now, young people also played a big role in all of this too. Your expertise is, is communications. What sort of role did the new technology that we have play in this? Oh, a huge role. I would say that it was the main trigger or catalyst for this whole uprising. Who would have thought that a group of young activists, digital activists behind their own computers, blogging and tweeting and on their Facebook pages would lead to a great revolution like the Egyptian revolution that we are witnessing now but they did and they did it today and it's really a great victory for them and for all the Egyptians so I think the new media has a crucial role to play in terms of bringing about social change and democratic reform mm -hmm. all right Dr. Sahar Kamis thank you so much we appreciate it thank you very much